Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Victory Lane Racing. Two box, random hit break, number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Now, you're guaranteed something. Everyone read the item description, but I'll explain it again. Everyone, everyone's guaranteed something. There'll be four autographs, right? Four memorabilia cards, that's eight. Two Father's Day pack, nine and ten. And a spot 11, base insert lot. So anything that's non, I mean, that's pretty much everything else that's not this, right? So inserts, even numbered inserts could be in there, et cetera, et cetera. Make sense? All right, here we go. So now the first thing we got to do is we got to open up this fresh case right here and see which two boxes we're going to do. And then we'll type in all of the hits here. And here are the two Father's Day packs that I just numbered one and two right there. And those Father's Day packs will send, uh, we'll send sealed. Let's just set this aside right here. All right, so there is the fresh case. So there's inner cases in here too. So we'll pop open. Pop open this fresh case. And we'll roll the die for the inner case and then for the two boxes. All right, we'll go with that one. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. It'll be three. So X marks the spot, and we'll do this one next time. All right, so now let's pop this guy open. So, so on the dice roll, that's one, this is two, this is three, and that's four. And if I roll a five or a six, just roll again. Like that. And that. And that. And that. <laughs> go to Vegas if I can keep rolling the same same way every time there's four <laughs> one two three four that was crazy I don't think this ever happened to me before we'll save these for next time all right there you go so a lot of fun stuff in here good luck everybody Should I go to Vegas? If I could do it like that every time in Vegas, that'd be helpful. So all of these will be part of that one lot right there. And this, nice, this is our first autograph, relic autograph. So that's Brad Kozlowski. So that'll be auto one. And then we've got Christopher Bell. Dual relic and autograph as well. Looks like that could be the, a piece of the car as well. All race use material, that's pretty cool.
And then we got Kyle Busch, Quad Relic. Nice, everyone remembers that the M&M's car. Race use material as well, which is cool. That's in the memorabilia pile. There's Austin Dillon. Help me win a uh, Daytona 500 wager, if you guys remember that. It's Eric Al Almora. There's Richard Petty, the King. And then we've got Duels. I don't know who this is. Daniel Hemrick. But he's in the Brat Bass Pro Shops. Isn't that Tony Stewart's old car? And that's the stack of the other cards someone else is going to get. These are all this way. It's kind of annoying. There we go. Oh, that's going to be this way. That's going to be this way. And there's there's Haley Deegan, jersey and all. This is the car that Michael Calder is looking for. There she is. Race used material. That's in the third autograph spot. And there's Kaz Grala, jersey and autograph. These cards are backwards, forwards, they're all over the place. There we go. And then we have Austin Dillon. Dual Relic. I keep forgetting Austin Dillon is, his grandfather's a Penske, maybe? I don't know, if some maybe someone who knows racing a little bit more than I do. And the last one. Uh, he's from a famous racing family. I think I got it. Childress, Matt Schwartz, thank you. And there's Kurt Busch. Was it Kurt Busch with the crazy girlfriend or was it Kyle Busch? <laughs> the girlfriend he thought was like a spy or something like that. It was a weird story. One of the Bush brothers. All right, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this stack, 11. All right here, so let's type these ones in first.
Christopher Bell. So we had one quad relic and three dual relics check. Remember how I numbered those packs, so that's be one and two. And then there's the rest basically. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Perfect. Good luck. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a five, eight times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We got Ryan Redman down to Michael Calder. Three and a five, eight times for the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After eight times, we've got Christopher Bell down to Brad Kozlowski. And here's how it shakes out. Ryan Redman, you get the Christopher... Bell, Dual Relic Auto. Michael Calder with a Kyle Bush Quad Relic. Stephen K with a Haley Deegan Relic and Autograph. You also have Father's Day Pack number one. Michael, you have the Daniel Hemrick and Kurt Bush Dual Relic. Ryan with the Kaz Agrala Relic and Autograph. Chris Fries, you got all the base inserts, just the rest of the stuff, all the numbered cards and everything. Ryan Redman, you have Father's Day Pack number two. Michael with the Austin Dillon Dual Relic. And you got the Brad Kozlowski dual relic and autograph. So there you go. It's actually alphabetized this by your first names right here. So thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Mikey wants to know if you want to if you want to swap. You want to do a trade? I guess technically there's a trade window. I'll leave it open for a couple seconds. Now, there'll be more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com if anybody's interested in doing some more of this. It's a good way to do it. I like it. Some solid stuff, too. Ray, you'll be surprised at how well racing could sell on a secondary market. So there'll be more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's see if Stephen K is interested in anything like that. And he's offering two relics for that one. Two of his relic cards. Well, any 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 interest, Stephen K? We've got the video still running. Let's see if anybody wants to get that going. Looks like uh, if anybody wants to jump in on a last minute break. What's the details, Jason? 
Oh, there you go. All right, so Stephen K is going to hold on to the Haley. After some deliberation, he's going to hold on. TWC, trade window closed. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break of 2019 Panini Victory Lane Racing. We'll see you next time for the next break, jazbeescasebreaks.com.